Okay, basically, I hope you enjoyed our little dancing. Um, we're obsessed with this song, Honey, right now. It's like kind of weird, but Shout really out good. Johnny. Yeah, aka Max. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like weird, but really good. And anyway, I was going to 1215 Souls. I go with Sarah today, and Natalie was supposed to come, but then. She had to take Royce to the vet, so then I was like, Louisa, come, and it worked out really well because she got out of work early. And then Sarah just DM'd me, and she was like, podium today for my 1215? I'm like, oh, girl. I'm going to tell her, too. Since I just met with Mike Trainer yesterday for the first time, I'm so sore. Like, I knew I would be because I never do, like, lifty, weight, circuity type stuff. So I'm literally so sore. I don't know how I'm going to be up there. Like, actually, my legs are going to be on fire. They're just going to hurt so bad because they already hurt. And I'm not biking. But I was like, I'm not going to say no. Like, she's more tired than me. She teaches all the yeah. time. I don't teach. Tired's just a mindset. It is. So I'm doing it, and I don't know if Luisa will ride up with me. Let's see. Ah! She said, sure, we'll put two bikes up there. Because I was like, well, my friend Luisa's coming, and I want to ride next to her. So can you just come up there with me? Wait, I'm so happy. That would have been, been awkward. <laughs> if she said no. Uh, no, I just want you, like, haven't seen Luisa yeah. ride enough. No, so now it's gonna be me and Louise up there. Yay! It's so last minute, but so fun. And we know we ride well next to each other because we did that for James. Yeah. And I just feel like riding next to someone, they like give me energy. So I need her to like be like, you can do it, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I ever talked about this in a vlog, but I think I did. One time when I went to Seoul with Louisa, we'll try to do five pounds up there today. I'm not doing five pounds, like I can barely lift my arms as it is. We were doing five pounds in Maddie's class and it got so hard and she had us have both weights in one hand going like this babe, like slow, you know? Mm -hmm. And like just keep going. So it got so heavy and Louisa was like struggling. So remember I told you I reached over yeah. and I pushed up her arm with my hand and Maddie was like, honestly, get you a friend like that. I was like, I gotta help her out. So anyway, this is very last minute, but I'm so excited. Even though like my body hurts, but it's fine. And this is my favorite riding up sports bra I try to make sure that I wear ones that go high up because like who in the class wants to see my boobs falling out of my sports bra you know I wish you were coming right now I know me but too. you you have a game tonight you're well, busy it's just summer league, but, yeah. <laughs> you gotta rest up yeah. <laughs> it's game day baby game day. <laughs> yeah oh yeah because sometimes I feel like I wear you guys know the Lululemon free to be wild or like really skinny like sometimes I wear sports bras that are just smaller right there and my boobs like fall out come on like on a bike and so I like wearing the high neck ones especially in this moment so that no one has to see my nipple falling out of my <laughs> the Justin Bieber Philly eyelash collab has uh, max the, the William eyelash this. the William eyelash <laughs> everyone please go watch the video on YouTube it's Dwight and Billy yeah. and Billy answers questions about the, the office, office and it's the funniest video on YouTube look who it <laughs> is waiting for me <laughs> Lisa in her white shirt you guys I didn't even vlog after I'm realizing can I vlog no we just had like a photo shoot and we took a um Polaroid my legs hurt so bad I was gonna be like Sarah they hurt on their own I like can't do this but it was fine it was just really tough and if you guys know the Skrillex remix of Breaking This Sweat oh my gosh me and Lisa were like this is the third song third song we don't think we can do it anymore but that was so good and we literally just sat out side on the bench in front of Soul Cycle and like caught up for like an hour after the class ended which is really funny but now I'm gonna go home shower and I think me and Max are gonna get sweet green because I just face face him and I was like did you even eat lunch like I'm freaking hungry and then he has his little summer league game tonight which are like fun to go to and watch so that is the plan oh and I'm walking home because I'm really brave and it's like a mile haven't noticed I got this like a huge pimple on my face I swear it was because I never go out and the other day I went out and stayed up like so late and that 
But anywho, just got back. My walk wasn't that bad. I feel like whenever I walk, I'll like call someone and it makes the time go by so quick. I called my mom and Lucy. But guys, I'm eating this so delicious dairy-free coconut milk yogurt alternative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading the whole thing. This what I'm trying to say is a strawberry banana and I always just have the vanilla or the blueberry and I've never had the strawberry banana and it's amazing. Like what? It's so good. Anyway, just a little snack before we go to switch grin. And I could add some granola to it, but I guess I don't really need to. Like I'm about to eat a salad. Mmm. I like eating this one because regular yogurt hurts my stomach, so. Also I'm freaking excited. So I ordered, if you guys know, actually I always get questions about them. I don't need to get them because you already know what they look like. My white Adidas Ultra Boost that I wear literally all the time. And Adidas actually sent those to me two summers ago now I want to say. And they're literally the only sneakers that I have that I wear. And I wear them all the time. And they're like gray at this point because they're so dirty. But everyone loves them and always asks about them. They're just the white Ultra Boost from Adidas. And... I love them for so long and they're like literally the only sneakers that I've had that I ordered them in black and I'm so excited. I actually got two sizes because I had no idea what size I was going to be. I want to say these run big because typically I'm always an eight and a half just like for every brand. But my white Ultra Boost are an eight and they fit pretty big. So I ordered a seven and a half and an eight to see and I'm so excited. You have no idea. I actually went through the biggest process. I like ordered them and then the order got canceled and then I had to wait until they were like in stock again then I ordered them again. Here they are. And if they're still online, I will link them down below. Get them now because they're on sale. My white ones, I remember were like 180. And I wanna say, do these have the price on them? They don't. But I wanna say that these were on sale for like 90, like half off or something. Um, so yeah, these like look like my size, the seven and a half, which is so weird. I would never be a seven and a half, literally ever, just really an eight or an eight and a half. Um, but I guess their stuff just runs big. This is so weird that they're seven and a half. But I'm gonna try them on and I'll let you know. I'm so excited! I can't wait. Mm mm mm. They would look cute with my little outfit right now. Just the black ultra boost. I haven't had like black sneakers in so long. I'm so excited. I'm gonna finish my yogurt and then I'm gonna show you what they look like. Okay, you guys, here are the white Ultra Boosts I was telling you about. These are legit my only sneakers and they're so dirty, and I just thought it would be fun to have them in black. So, here is the black. This is so weird. As you can see, my toe is like poking both of them. These are an eight and they're literally big on me. So, I got these are the seven and a half. This is the eight, and the seven and a half feels like tight, but like it fits, but then my toe is like poking through there. And then the eight, this is so weird that you can like see my toe. Like, I swear this 8 in the black fits tighter than the white. Maybe they're just stretched out because they're older. But I always felt like these are big on me. And these feel like they completely fit me. So I think that's really funny. Maybe just go half a size down than your normal size. And I guess I'll just return the 7 and a half. And keep the 8. I love them. I think they're so cute. <laughs> Max picked us up sweet green. While I was showering, I just got the kale Caesar and I added avocado. And you got harvest with both chickens. And you get mixed greens, not kale. Right? You got both chickens too. I did get both chickens. Guys, this pimple is just really ruining my life. Um, Wait, let's Pimpy? see. What I was just going to say. Talk about him like that. Max named him Big Pimpy. <laughs> him. <laughs> Let's chat while we eat our food. Okay. I'm so excited for your game. I love watching you play. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited that I know that it's cold, so I'm bringing a sweatshirt. Look at my tripod, like, chill in the back. You no. had a sweatshirt last game, though, didn't you? I did, but I was still cold. So now I'm happy that I know to bring a blanket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, also I wanted to tell them, I didn't vlog yesterday because I filmed a big, huge ACL video. That's probably like an hour long. Hello, why is this so, it's so dark? Blinded um, by the light. So, oh yeah, I didn't vlog yesterday because I was filming that big huge ACL video. And then when I film like two videos in a day, it happens a lot. Then I get behind and I'm already behind. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't vlog yesterday. But I met with Mike and I wanted to tell him about it because I didn't tell them. But they saw my Instagram story. So long story short. I met him a while ago because Maggie knew him from Bridgewater. He was like two years above her at Bridgewater. And he was always like so nice and I just like knew who he was. But then Maggie and Emma started working out with him. 
and I never thought I would like work out with a personal trainer or any of that because I just felt like I never really needed to but since my um, last physical therapy visit was last Wednesday, I always knew that it would be nice to find someone after my insurance stopped co covering physical therapy to like help me continue recovery with my knee. And that's what Abby Rifkin said that she like worked with um, a personal trainer to help her with her knee. Hi, Tay Tay. We're eating sweet cream. Hey, Taylor. We're vlogging. Hey, girl. <laughs> oh, all the comments on the last one? We're like, how did she just run five miles? She doesn't even look tired. <laughs> like she didn't even look like yep. affected at all. <laughs> I would be crawling. Yeah, me too. Eight. 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 So cute. Do you like them? They just came in the yeah. middle. Taylor approves of the ultra boost, everybody. Oh, you just did eight. Eight miles. Wow. Look at her. She looks like she went for a walk. <laughs> you literally <laughs> don't look tired. <laughs> or like sweaty or. <laughs> oh my guys this girl is crazy she just informed us she's going back to the gym she just came up to say I'm hi not, i'm going to stretch in the court <laughs> are you doing the arm workout the taylor arm workout yes. <laughs> i like that arm workout a lot everyone wanted to hear what it was maybe i'll put it Ooh. in the description so you guys can follow along you want oh. to look like taylor oh you don't have, you want it to be a secret how yeah. she gets her uh -huh. her jacked arms <laughs> I forgot where I was Max already finished eating his salad and is watching the office but all I wanted to say is Maggie and I were working out with Mike and then I started being like oh my gosh I need to find someone to help me with my knee now that I'm done with PT I feel so lost am I gonna like Google like personal trainer Boston like I don't even know so I just DM Mike and I was like hey do you know anybody that has like experience like anyone in your little personal training group that has experience with like uh, just physical therapy or like anyone that has worked with like ACL post-op type of patient and he was like oh I used to work at a physical therapy cl clinic like I can help you with your needs it's gonna be great so I met with him yesterday and then I'm meeting with him tomorrow I think I'll probably do it twice a week because that's where I was at for PT and we just did a lot of strength so that's why I'm really sore I just want to tell you guys about that because you're probably like how did that even come about and like I said I never saw myself as someone that would like work out with a personal trainer because I was always like why would I need that like I have just always worked out on my own in life um but I actually am like terribly afraid of strength training and never have really done it like I haven't lifted anything ever than like a five pound weight and he had me doing like 15s yesterday I'm like buddy this is like really tough for me here but um, no, I know it's like so good for me and yeah, so that's that about that I'll have like his Instagram link down below and like his personal training Instagram so you guys can check it out if you're interested Um, sorry. I know you're probably staring at this I can't wait to go like put makeup on and cover it which I know is like the exact opposite of what's good for it But you know and I can't wait to go get cozy and put on my new pink Aritzia sweatshirt It's like freaking so cute and so warm so no. Yeah. Happy game. Woo! You can come to the workout tomorrow morning if you're back. Maybe. If you want to. If you're not too tired. <laughs> what does your hair smell like? Shampoo? Ooh, what is that? What kind of shampoo do you pantene. use? Pantene. <laughs> <It's okay. Hi. laughs> like so many other options you know <laughs> okay guys we just got back in my parking garage now I'm so freaking tired I just feel like from like long drives in the car I'm like Mike I'm filming this clip for you because I'm gonna show you tomorrow morning when I train with you again how much I can't walk I knew I just would not be able to walk today and Tara and Luis are like why are you like limping around and I'm like well my knee kind of hurts because I like went ham at soul cycle today also I'm so freaking sore and now I know it's because of yesterday like strength training and like ACL PT type stuff 
along with like today's soul cycle. Okay, ready? Max is gonna show you. Strut your stuff. Like, it's like the inside of my thighs. Like, I literally feel like I'm waddling. Because it just hurts so bad to like use that. Okay. Everything we're morning, you guys. We're just gonna keep this vlog rolling from last night because I feel like I didn't film that much yesterday. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys some things. First of all, I mean, we're gonna close because I'm about to go to my second workout with Mike, and yeah, it's gonna be the death of me. Like, I barely feel like I can move. I was having Max do the um, what's that gun thing? Hyperbolt? Is it called the Hyperbolt? Hyper ice. Hyper ice. You guys know. I showed it before. Um, like so lightly on my hamstrings and my quads. And I, I just couldn't do it. Like literally I can like barely touch them. Like that like hurts. <sighs> oh, but I know it's like good for me. Obviously it's sore because it's like working. Oh, but I wanted to show you guys. So remember my whole, <laughs> if you saw my vlog, <laughs> I'm like a mess these days. Um, Remember I talked about how I've been getting like eczema I didn't even know what it was. You can still kind of see it. Like this big dry patch of like red right here kind of went, oh, just focus on me. Kind of went like up along here too. Oh wait, hang on. Okay, sorry, where was I? <laughs> yeah, I was telling you guys about whatever it was, I was like pretty sure it was eczema and now I'm like, 99.9% .9 sure because yeah, it would just, just like really bad and like yeah it's still kind of like red bumps right there but just not nearly as bad as it was before sorry i'm like i feel like, I look so scary right now i just woke up but um basically when i was at cvs i found hydrocortisone anti-itch cream for rashes due to eczema and it's like the CeraVe cream so if you have I feel like it's bad because I never went and saw like a dermatologist. Like I don't know exactly what it was, but all I know is that this has been helping a lot. So I'm guessing it's probably eczema. So if you have anything similar to me, maybe try this just because I've had really good experience with it so far. And this is all I do. <laughs> Tutorial on how to fix your freaking dry spots on your face. But literally I just go like that, have a little bit, and go like that. And then I put my normal moisturizer over top. Oh, and what I wanted to show you guys too. I just like went back to the real basics when I went to CVS the other day. So I got that and then I forget when it was, I want to say my freshman year of high school, I really struggled with acne, like really bad. And that's when I actually started YouTube and it might have gotten better by the time I started YouTube because I started YouTube at the end of my freshman year. But like you guys probably saw my face covered in makeup all the time. If any of you were around back then, like probably none of you were. But, um... Basically, I would see dermatologists all the time. I tried so many things like Retin-A, Tretinoin. If you guys like know those, probably a bunch of you do if you ever deal with like acne or something. Like nothing was working. And then I remember him telling me, your face is so oily and it produces so much oil because deep down it's really dry because you don't moisturize it. And I was so scared to put moisturizer on because I dealt with like really oily skin, which is so weird because now my skin is like so dry. It's weird how things just change. But I would use this Cetaphil moisturizing cream and it's like the thickest moisturizer ever. Uh, very dry, sensitive skin. Oh, it says it's for your body. Well, I cover my face in it. And yeah, it's literally just so like thick, if you can tell. But I put it all over my face and I feel like that's been helping too because especially in the summer, I don't know why I deal with such dry skin. Like, I don't know. And I just let my skin like soak it all up and I feel like it makes it so much nicer and smoother and um, not peely. Cause I would, do, my nose would peel all the time. Like even when, like I'm not sunburned, I haven't gotten sun in so long, like nothing to do with that just cause it would be dry and I'd be like, what is wrong with me? So yeah, that is what's going on. I just wanted to show you guys in case you dealt with anything similar to me. Like, not sponsored. And I still, like the other day I was showing you um, how I've been using the BioClarity and I still love that, but I just felt like the Hydrate is like a good like everyday moisturizer, but sometimes I need like this heavy duty like fix my skin moisturizer, so yeah. And right now, Max is making us, it's so weird how like dark it is outside. It's like rainy this morning. It makes it look so blue in here. Look it. Doesn't it look blue on my camera? Did you see? Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. You just go, uh-huh. Oh, you made it all 
already. Mm, it looks <laughs> it looks like I don't know, dark in here. But yum yum yum. Guys, I think it's so weird that Max puts cheese on his eggs, even though he eats it with like avocado. But you didn't put it on your bread. No, I don't think I didn't put it on my mouth. <laughs> Woo! I'm so happy. Okay, you guys. If you remember when I went to Cape Cod with Max for, oh, it was from 4th of July. Um, I got this yellow Frankie's bikini top. And I remember it's called the Style Willa. It has like a little cutout right here. And then, yeah, you guys saw it in that video. But basically, I couldn't wear it because I didn't have any matching bottoms. And I thought I could wear it with like any old yellow or white bottom. But it just wasn't working. And the Willa bottoms were like out of stock on Frankie's. Unless it was like a large or an extra large, I think. And normally I'm a small, but I know Frankie's runs small. So then I thought that they had this style bottom, the boots bottom, in the same color lemon drop in a medium. And so this will be perfect. I can already tell. It just came in the mail. And I'm so excited. Now I can wear it. I wish I could wear it today, but it's freaking raining and like 60 degrees. Tell me how that makes sense. But then like tomorrow is going to be 95. Saturday is going to be like 100. Doesn't that, isn't that so weird? Hi, naked. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. Guys, Max is getting his pizza right now. <laughs> and, and I just won the pizza battle, and he said, Happy wife, happy life, and got the two kinds I wanted. <laughs> and then he said, I heard him say to the girl, I'll have a slice of pepperoni while I wait. <laughs> he got a slice as an appetizer. <laughs> you look, you're bouncing around a lot. What are you doing? I'm walking. I'm getting a drink from the car. Okay. See you soon, lovey. Bye, lover. <laughs> so I had my workout with Mike, and I'm so gross. I hate sitting around after I work out. Like, I like getting in the shower right away, but you can probably tell I've been sitting here actually doing, like, a lot of randomly productive things, but I'm, like, a Gretchen, so I'm finally going to shower. But I feel like this vlog is getting a little bit on the long side, so I'm just going to end this off here. And, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.